Being a pageant queen holds a lot of weight, and for Miss Fort Hood USA, it means going against the grain. 25 News reporter Christina Davis has the story. Women have range. And some people think, you know, as a military woman in the pageant world, you can't be pretty, you, um, you can't be, you know, calm and collected and relaxed because everybody thinks we have this hua attitude. An attitude women had to adopt for centuries to reach their full potential. Who created the rules to begin with? How did we get here? Candace Harmon, Miss Fort Hood USA, a military woman vying for the Miss Texas USA title. Hair was, was the biggest thing um, throughout because as an African-American woman, I, I can definitely say that it was difficult to put my hair in a bun. One, because I put, couldn't put my hair in a bun. When I first joined the army, I shaved my head because I couldn't come in with an afro. Remove the piece of who she was. And though rules have changed for a woman's dress code in the military, Candace says she's still fighting against the judgments of others for entering a pageant as a woman of the military. All the, the women during the Civil War, because I'm a 19th century Americanist, so all the women during the Civil War who cross-dressed, um, and that itself, right, just that in and of itself, they, they were women who were not allowed to serve in the military, and so they dressed as young men. Now, on the contrary, women like Candace are still trying to break glass ceilings, but in this case, in the pageantry world. She's trying to actually return back to, in a way, um, the femininity that's expected of women and getting pushback from that. <laughs> So it's kind of ironic, but at the same time, it, it actually demonstrates how those um, those definitions of gender are very arbitrary. We made them, which means we can change them. Never let anybody put you in a box, not even yourself. Liberating herself and other women, breaking barriers and surpassing any adversity. The Miss Texas USA pageant will be held on July 1st. Candace says she wants to be a great representative for Fort Hood and needs any support she can get along the way. In Colleen, Christina Davis, 25 News.